why talk now to me? I think it's the right time. I wanted the truth to come out. The man at the center of the storm around San Mateo County Sheriff Christina Corpus is giving his side of the story. He says the scathing report against the sheriff and her administration is built on lies. But that report has led to a criminal investigation and calls for the sheriff to resign. ABC News, ABC 7 News IT team reporter Dan Noyes is here with the interview that you'll see only on 7. Yeah. Dan. Well, Amma and Dan, the sheriff's chief of staff says supporters of the old sheriff are telling lies to bring her down and to stop the change that she's bringing to the department. Sheriff Christina Corpus told me earlier this week that she's known Victor INJ for 17 years. And we are colleagues. I consider him a trusted confidant, a friend. During all that time, did you and her ever become romantic? No. There's never been physical contact or a dating relationship? No. The longtime realtor became indispensable during Corpus's campaign for sheriff. That's him during a kickoff event with a candidate. But the audit commissioned by the county and performed by retired Santa Clara County Judge LaDoris Cordell cites one current employee at the Millbrae Sheriff substation. She says when Corpus worked there before she became sheriff, the employee saw her and INJ kissing, giving each other massages, and making flirty jokes that made her uncomfortable. Corpus and now INJ say that's a lie. And I'm done with that. And, I, and I'm done because this has been played over and over just to smear her name. I did notice and I've reported that most of the accusations in terms of you and the sheriff being romantic came from a single employee. Correct. I don't want to get into uh, employee issues. I'm saying that her statements are not truthful. I believe she had an agenda behind them. Let's talk about those 40 people that Judge Cordell interviewed. Are you saying that most of those are supporters of the former Sheriff Bolanos? Absolutely, I'm saying that. Oh. And a few of them are just scared for their job. Because if you don't kiss the ring in this county, they will push you out. INJ was third in line as civilian chief of staff, reporting to Undersheriff Dan Perea. From those interviews, the Cordell report concluded INJ had major influence over the sheriff and that lies, secrecy, retaliation, conflicts of interest, and abuse of authority are the hallmarks of the Corpus administration. Obviously, it doesn't feel good. Uh, it's disappointing. Um, I think uh, the people that are there um, know the truth and know what's been done to this point. The report found that INJ may have committed a misdemeanor crime for willfully wearing a facsimile badge that allows him to impersonate a full-time salaried employee and that the sheriff could face a misdemeanor charge for giving it to him. INJ's badge has a chief of staff bar at the top. Judge Cordell sat a line. I think before she made those uh, negligent statements and um, she should have checked. INJ provided his training records that show he's a reserve deputy for the department, has all the training of a full-time sworn officer. He also worked at the department's firing range as an instructor for nine years. Here is him teaching county supervisor Noelia Corzo to shoot. She's now his biggest detractor. So she's very concerned that she's coming up for re-election and she has no money. So I've been told that she's made some deals with cert certain people. I don't know. I don't know if that's factual or not. Um, that they're going to fund her. And that's why she's doing this. She's disclosed this to a number of people. INJ told me his work as a realtor and in personal protection stopped when Corpus brought him on as chief of staff. I also asked about expensive gifts the report accuses him of giving the sheriff. Did you buy $11,000 diamond earrings and Louboutin boots for the sheriff? No, I did not. Where'd that come from? I have no idea. I also asked about Donald Trump's September 12th fundraising visit to Woodside. The report says the campaign staff allowed the sheriff to designate two people for a photo with the now president-elect. She picked a captain and a deputy. An FBI agent claims INJ approached, identified himself, as chief of staff and said, who? A deputy getting a photo over me? The report says he made a scene until he was allowed to take this picture. The main guy that was running the security, uh, I knew him very well. He goes, hey, just come online, come in the line and take a picture with us and whatever else. And, and I ended up there. The guy came up to me, goes, hey, you're not on the list. I'm like, yeah, who are you? I said, I'm the chief of staff. I'm, I'm here taking place of the sheriff. He goes, oh, okay, no, that's fine, whatever. Just move forward. With all of this flack, with calls from the board of supervisors, the deputy sheriff's union, and the captains for the sheriff and her chief of staff, have to resign, Victor INJ says he will not. I think the residents of this county deserve more, and that's what Sheriff Corpus has been fighting for. And in my opinion, I continue to encourage her and support her, because at the end of all this, 
she's going to be victorious. I received a text late today from Supervisor Corzo saying it's all false that she's receiving financial backing to pursue these accusations. Meanwhile, um, INJ uh, complains that Judge Cordell did little to verify the claims. One person who witnessed many of these alleged interactions was she Under Sheriff Dan Perea, and I understand that he was not interviewed for the audit. So he's up there on the chain of command. Yeah. Why not interview him? Judge Cordell did not do that. And by the way, Judge Cordell wouldn't talk to me about her report and discuss it at all. So there's still a lot more to find out. Yeah, I'm glad you're exploring all sides of this. Though. Yes. That's great. Exactly. Yeah. Right.